Once again, I am late to the party when making a video on another free agent signing and another free agent move in news. Dante Hightower, if you haven't heard, has basically signed back with the New England Patriots. And apparently he was offered more money to the Jets. And the Jets actually have this uh, funny story about him where the Jets were sending merchandise to his his mom. And then they were basically all over the intercom and like TV were saying like, Dante Hightower, we want you and all that. Almost like trying to like fluster him like. At something weird like that, but it just seems like a moment where I feel like most people would feel very awkward if you're just trying to pressure into him just signing. Now, obviously, you have to sign the players, not blame the Jets going out and trying to sign the Dante Hightower. It's just that method of just, it was just way too much. There's only a couple players in this league that I feel like that would fall bait into that. Like, by that point, I would just feel downright awkward. Also, the Steelers were interested in. And uh, him, and apparently they said something about, oh, if you get on the plane, we're taking back the offer and all of that. And apparently he just wasn't very interested. Uh, something about the locker room, maybe. He's basically a Nick Saban, Bill Belichick player. He's been there, and they're basically, that's what he knows. So when you go from Bill Belichick to Mike Tomlin, it's definitely a drastic difference. Also, another note on the Jets. The Jets apparently um, offered him more money, but I think the reason why he didn't pick the Jets is simply because the Jets are in rebuilding mode, and the Patriots are really stacked, and the Patriots still offered him a pretty good contract, roughly around uh, $20 million guaranteed, but um, only $10 million a year, technically, overall, and that's kind of... I feel like that's a little bit low ball. I thought he was going to get paid like around $13 million or $12.5 million. So he, he's being... Pretty um underpaid, and I want to talk about this about how it affects uh, maybe Malcolm Butler. Now, do you think Bill Belichick is trying to buy some wiggle room to try to give Malcolm Butler a better contract? Uh, I don't think he will, but I think they definitely should. I think Malcolm Butler is extremely valuable, and I think he has done a lot of things right for the Patriots. I think signing Stephon Gilmore is just. It's just a very uncharacteristic um, move, and it's also a douchey move by Bill Belichick. Is Bill Belichick a douche? Absolutely. But is it kind of uncharacteristic of him to sign a big free agent on the market from another team that he has not contacted with or has no connections with whatsoever? It just seems downright weird to me. It, it just I was just completely dumbstruck by it when they signed Stephon Gilmore. Not saying it's a bad signing, I'm just saying that it's just uncharacteristic of Bill Belichick. Now, when it comes to um, just Dante Hightower, um, very good linebacker, top five linebacker in this league, and now it just, just shows that the Patriots are just absolutely stacked. But I think if he did take a little bit of a hometown discount that it could affect Malcolm Butler, but I highly doubt it.